Okay, I think we'll um, kick off the meeting. So for starters, um, I have a statement of acknowledgement. So we would like to acknowledge this land we meet on today is the traditional lands of the Ghana people and that we respect their spiritual relationship with their country. We also acknowledge the Ghana people as the custodians of the Greater Adelaide region and that their cultural and heritage beliefs are still as important to the living Ghana people today. Um, in terms of attendance, um, we have apologies from... Uh, oh, we've got an apology from uh, Talon and that's about it. Um, are there any uh, motions to grant leave of absence? No, and I don't think there are any current standing leave of absences. Cool. Okay, and I don't think there's any non-attendance now. I think we've got everyone. Cool. Okay, so moving on then to declarations of interest. Are there any declarations of interest? No. Nope. Cool. Moving on then to the confirmation of the minutes. So these are the minutes from the September meeting and the October um, special meeting that we had. I don't know if everyone's had a chance to read through those minutes, um, but if I could get a yeah, mover and seconder when you're comfortable with them. Jack and Brenna. Okay. Um, oh, Isaac. I'm just uh, noting that at uh, 8.6 of the minutes, the um, responses to questions which were asked we're going to be uh, included in the agenda for the next meeting. I was just wondering if they're in the agenda um, and whether I'm missing something there. Sorry, we'll check that real quick. Through the chair, uh, we don't have those answers as yet, so we will um, get those for the next meeting. Okay, um, anything else on the minutes that anyone wants to bring up? Okay, um, so with Jack moving and Brenna seconding, uh, all those in favour? Uh, unanimously carried, excellent. Um, uh, okay. So moving on to the October minutes for the special meeting. Um, it's considerably shorter. Um, do I have a mover and a seconder for the, that set of minutes? Brenna's happy to move uh, and Renee to second. Um, if there's nothing anyone wants to bring up, uh, all those in favour? Unanimously carried. Excellent. So moving on to business arising from the minutes. Is there any business arising from the minutes? No? Nope. Cool. Uh, moving on then to the officers' reports. So 6.1, uh, appointment of chairperson and deputy chairperson to Gawler Youth Advisory Committee. So I am stepping down as chairperson. Our current deputy chairperson is Brenna, I do believe. Um, and we need to elect both those positions. So with this, I do believe if you want to continue on with the role, you need to reapply. So, um, I don't know how to do this, actually. Is, yeah. So, okay. okay. So, um, for starters, the officer's recommendation is as follows. Um, the, the Youth Advisory Committee, oh, uh, sorry, the, the Gawler Youth Advisory Committee recommends to Council that Blank be appointed to the position of chairperson for the Gold Youth Advisory Committee for a term of one year. So unlike regular memberships, these only last for a single year before they're re-voted on. So I will, 
grab nominations for that first one, I believe. So put your hand up if you want to nominate. Renee, Jack, anyone else? No? Okay. So in this instance, I do believe we have a vote. Ah, yes. Um, so while pieces of paper are being handed out, um, do we want to get speeches? I don't know if you've got anything prepared or would want to just go with something on the fly, but um, okay. Right, so for those that don't know me, my name's Jack Gill. I've been involved in the advisory committee for, let's say, close to four or five years now. I got involved towards um, the end of my high school education. Um, I feel like I'd like to put my hand up to be chairperson of the EAC. I have um, experience in the different organisations and I want to sort of try and pull them together to provide the Gawler Youth with as many options and opportunities to be involved within bettering the community. And so I'd like to try and sort of work on sort of localising and integrating as much of the opportunities and organisations around the town to sort of make sort of a localised and better representation of what we need to do in the town to make it better for our youth and next inheritors of our lands. Um, so my name is Renee. Um, I have also been involved with the Gawler Youth Advisory Committee for as long as Jack. I did have a little break when I went on exchange, but I came right back again. Um, I have been involved in the Gawler community all my life um, in various sporting clubs, netballs, skating, gymnastics, coaching, all that kind of stuff. Um, I have a passion for volunteering and helping young kids and the youth of Gawler. Um, I will always endeavour to volunteer at events that we run, as well as I would like to get a little bit more um, involved with the YAC and be one of those people that sets up these events and things like that. Thank you. Okay. Excellent. So um, everyone write down the name of the person you are voting for and you can vote for yourself. So don't feel awkward about doing so as well. Okay, Renee is the, um, will be appointed to the position of chairperson for the Youth Advisory Committee for a term of one year. Congratulations. Okay, moving on then to the uh, deputy chairperson. So do we have any nominations for that? Uh, Brenna, would you like to continue? Brenna, um, anyone else? Yep. Okay. Um, do we go, want to go with speeches again? Do people feel comfortable doing that? Or, uh... ah, it's up to you. <laughs> Brenna, do you want to say anything or are you? No, that's quite okay. Okay, um, so when the papers are handed out, feel free to write your choice and yeah. 
and sort that out. So the choice of the committee is to is that Jack Gill be appointed to the position of the deputy chairperson for the Gawler Youth Advisory Committee for a term of one year. Congratulations, Jack. Um, I guess uh, moving on then to uh, 6.2. Oh, yes. Sorry. Um, I need a uh, mover and a seconder for that decision. Uh, Isaac, you happy to move? Brennan, you're happy to second? Thank you. Um, all those in favour? Unanimously carried. Okay. So now moving on to 6.2, uh, appointment of members. So for this, the officer's recommendation is that the Gawler Youth Advisory Committee recommends to Council that Council receives, express, receives an expression of interest from um, the two members, uh, who are Abby and Alexander, for membership to this committee. Um, the council adopts a preferential method of voting where a valid vote must have a candidate's name, where there are three candidates, three names, and a one, two, and three preference recorded, where there are four candidates, and so on. Um, having considered, uh, and that uh, having considered those nominations of the candidates for the number of expressions of interest, vacant com committee positions, the Gawler Youth Advisory Committee recommends to council that the members be appointed to the Gawler Youth Advisory Committee for a period of two years. Cody? So, um, well, before we know whether this is something to vote on or not in the first place, we need to know, are there currently vacant spots? Has anyone resigned, etc.? So we have um, two resigna resignations. Um, one is from Ashley and the other one is from Shay. They've both stepped down from the committee due to other engagements. I do believe that we've only got the two, those two vacancies though, so there are. Yeah, to have both people join us, yes. So, um, I guess for starters, do you want to give a quick little speech? Um, the microphone is plugged in, and so yeah. Uh, we'll start with Alexander. So, hi guys, my name is Alex. Um, I'm currently a year 12 at Gawler and District College. Um, I was born and raised in Gawler and despite moving out of Gawler, um, I've still kept myself in the community, whether that be through extracurriculars or sporting, um, stuff like that. Um, and I believe there is a huge potential for Gola to keep on growing, um, you know, as a tourist destination, as a bigger town, all of that fun stuff. Um, but yeah, a few things about me. Um, I'm the vice president of the Gola and District College Interact Club. Um, I'm also a Project Prosper leader with youth opportunities. Um, so basically what those two things mean is that um, I work a lot within the community 
Um, with Interact, we make projects that help our local and global community. So stuff like getting birthing kits out to third world countries, food drives, um, that sort of stuff. And with Project Prosper, um, we get input from youth all across SA. Um, and then we design and deliver um, workshops to those youth to help them succeed in life and school um, and even pass school into adulthood. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what I do. And I'd love to be a part of this committee because um, I would just like to broaden my horizons of what I do and just um, sort of serve a schooler even more um, because like I said, I think it's got great prospects for the future. Um, and I think it deserves everyone putting a hand in. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Um, do you want to speak next? Excellent. My name's Abby. I'm currently studying year 11 at Xavier College in Gawler. Um, I've been an artistic skater for 10 years now and been a volunteer junior coach for around four years, I believe. Um, I'd like to join you guys as I think your ideas for the future of Gola are like a really strong ideas and really good. Um, and I've also been a volunteer at Barossa Wildlife Rescue for around a year and a half now. So I really enjoy spending time around animals and enjoy helping out around the community and just helping in my spare time. So. Excellent. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so for this next bit, um, I think we'll probably have a quick little discussion. Um, so for that, I was wondering if I could get the two of you to step out into the corridor for a short duration. Um, and we'll stop the recording to uh, enable that as well. <laughs> 